Rush and Captain Carson. I believe the hammers need to be swapped. There we are. We have Captain Carson on the left with the Captain Falcon and Rush on the right with the Wolf Hussol. Uh, Rush, I believe, just just in the last set, right? Or, or two sets ago. Um, very good Wolf player. Excited to see more of this gameplay. I've yet to see Captain Carson, so this will be fun to commentate. Uh, Carson currently has Rush in a bad situation, but Rush with a grab ties it up immediately. Reading the getup option, or perhaps a react to the roll. And there's a ledge and drifts back, covers pretty much every single option in the game. Waits out the recovery so as to not get an air. Spacing out with two lasers. Very good get off me tool, but Captain Carson stays approaching and gets a grab. Ooh. That was a situation where Rush could have gotten a grab, or perhaps an up smash. Oh, but gets an up smash anyway, out of shield. And that is the first stock of this set, going to Rush. Holds down while recovering, so as to not grab the ledge uh, during the Falcon dive. Ends up grabbing Rush with it. Keeps the pressure on the ledge, gets a nair, cool, calm, collected, and takes the stop. They're back at even. A nair out of shield to get over the jab, into a dash attack, turn around up tilt, a very quick 45%, into forward air back air, 86. The percent is racking up very quickly. Dashes back, gets around the rafter boost, and gets a grab. Carson looking to get something started. Back air, safe on shield, at least against Wolf. Not able to get an up smash, so. Carson looking to push their advantage here. Back in disadvantage, though. Running away. Gets hit with a dash attack anyway. Still not dead, though. Falcon a little bit on the heavier side. This should kill, though. Ooh, just enough. Just enough meat on his bones to survive. Ah, uh, but not enough. Not enough any longer. Perhaps needed to eat a little more whey protein. Carson on their last stock of the one. Order out of shield, but doesn't lead to anything. But Rush just looking to extend uh, their lead here. Spot dodges the up smash. I wholeheartedly believe it would have hit from there. Back throws, just wants the positioning. Could have potentially gone for around 50, maybe a maybe a four throw for a tech chase or an up throw. Could have connected into something. Gets hit with a raw up smash. And we are going on to the last stock for both players of game one. 93% lead. Nothing to sneeze at. Raptor boost into a weight on the tech option. Went out there. Unfortunately, it doesn't lead into anything. Doesn't get the two frame. Rush looking for a kill option here. Does ledge jump into an immediate wolf flash. Catches Carson's jump in the center stage. Sometimes the least predictable option is the best one. And Rush takes game one. Very clean gameplay. I feel like most of the combos that we saw came from Rush and the side of Wolf here. I feel like most of the neutral interaction wins were by Rush, but uh, somehow Carson able to get that down to, to the wire. I feel like I didn't have any noticeable parts where Carson really felt like they were pressuring Rush more than Rush was pressuring Carson. That was a bit of a difficult sentence to say there. Players just playing neutral. Ooh, border back here. Goes for the down air. 
bit of wishful thinking, but you know what? I like it. I think if you're gonna do that, you may as well just Nair instead, but perhaps uh, Nair gets grabbed by Ravage Boost. Perhaps Rush knows something that I don't. Punishes the Wolf Flash on the stage with back throw. Another Wolf Flash on the stage. And Rush trying their best to get back on the stage unscathed. Does a rising fair into a buffered Wolf Flash, but because it was a rising fair, they weren't on the ground early enough for the Wolf Flash to come out. And so they get punished and the stock is taken. Good, good get up attack there. Not rolling in. Rush going for a read. A good air dodge. Rush still looking for this first stock. Greedy option. Definitely shouldn't have gone for that. Um, there's no reason to push your advantage so much, I think, there. I think you could have per perhaps gotten a double jump knee after the up air on the platform instead of going for more up airs into the up B, but maybe just wanted to go for the. Um, easier option, maybe just mix rush up, bear from ledge, gets uppied out of shield from behind. A very good uppy out of shield option actually, I think, I think it's a bit underrated. It, it'll really magnet onto the opponent. Jab on shield, dash back into up smash. A uh, bit of a read. Um, I want to see, I want to see Carson react a little bit more. I feel like you know, obviously as Captain Falcon, you gotta go for reads. It's a bit tough, but I want to see just, you know, if you ran up and jabbed his shield, um, you know, I wish I had just seen you grab instead. Exactly like this. Just, I think you should just be grabbing. <laughs> the knee gets him far off stage. He wasn't able to extend that as he was also off stage with no double jump, so I had to recover instead of uh, going for the kill there. I mean, Carson up of full stock now. Potentially taking uh, game two here. I mean, this stock could could go at any point. Captain Falcon up smash, down smash. I believe all of those options will take it. Ooh, does not get the stock there. Ooh, but reads the neutral get up into roll. Perhaps just trying to cover roll because of the high percents. Um, or covering neutral get up into roll. Happens a lot. Rush takes it. Game two goes to Rush. Oh, no. Game two goes to Captain Carson. I was not paying attention. <laughs> Seventeen hundred rating in chess. I don't understand chess ratings, but I assume that that is impressive since you brought it up. So, congrats to Rush for having a seventeen hundred rating in chess. We go into game three. Hmm. So, Captain Falcon's dash attack, I'm unsure if it will actually cross up shield. Um, if it doesn't, then you need to react and grab that, because that was a missed punish there by Rush. Trying to get off ledge. There's a Nair into a small combo. Enough to tie things back up. Forward air. Nair. I should have extended with an up air instead. If you had the prime percent and it led onto the platform, you probably could have gotten uh, quite a lot of damage there with just up air strings uh, off the middle platform. Shooting a couple lasers. I feel like that move is just the the ultimate neutral check in this game. You know, are you are you asleep at the wheel? Are you just running at me? Or are you just pressing buttons? Uh, I don't know if you caught that there. I'm sure you all did, but the uh, down smash going underneath Captain Falcon's uh, beautiful Cinderella tippy toes as he does a gorgeous ballerina twirl into the air. But Rush, still at the first stock of the game. 112% is enough to take the stock after a back air. And Carson, quick to bring this back to the game. A train of nares. Goes for the knee. Perhaps even even a weak knee would have been good enough there. I don't know if uh, Rush would have been able to recover, but that was the pass, and now we're in the future. A good air dodge onto stage to dodge the dash attack. Down throw, up air, up air, up air. Good damage. Another up air. More up airs. More up airs. Um, the 
soon to be breaking the up direction on their C stick, but a down smash at the ledge, two frames, Captain Falcon. Perhaps they were holding down, trying to grab a uh, rush like they did in the first game. Uh, holding down a ledge while up beam uh, will keep you from grabbing the ledge at all. Um, and if an opponent is standing right at the ledge and you're using Captain Falcon's up B, you can grab them. But the down smash takes it. I can't say for sure if that was the situation. Ooh, he narrowly misses that nair. A very weird uh, grab release from the Falcon Dive. Rush, looking to close this out, narrowly escapes certain death with a dash attack. A very interesting uh, side beyond the stage. I think Carson may just have not been paying attention. He wasn't reacting and put out a couple attacks in front of them, or perhaps just a tech flop. But an unfortunate SD towards the end. At 130% anyway, you know, it's... In that situation, you die at a lot of things. It's unlikely you, you bring that all the way back, but... You never want to count these players out. We have a lot of skilled players here. So Rush, up 2-1. As we go into game four, I, I would like to see... Ooh, we have a outfit change from Rush. Wolf. Uh, I feel as some of the best looking skins in this game. Ooh, and Nair into the knee, a quick 51%. I don't know if that's a true combo, but perhaps you have to air dodge out of it. So if you're air dodging off stage, obviously you're putting yourself in a huge disadvantage. So eats the knee, is sitting at a cool 91%. Um, a Nair one into knee, or falling up air into knee is certainly enough to take this for stock. Perhaps an up smash as well. Ooh, but gets the strong hit. A falcon kick. Landing onto Wolf's brittle animal skull. Shooting laser when Captain Falcon is about uh, one leg's length away from him. I think Rush is using laser in a lot of the situations that you don't want to. I would like to see... I'd like to see Rush just just putting out nares when Carson is approaching you from the air majority of the time, it feels like. His his approach is pretty simple. I mean, Captain Falcon, there's not much he can do to get in on you, you know? He has dash attack and grab, and then nair. Um, and if you put out a nair, it will be all those options. So why not just nair? At the very least, you will trade. But it's better than getting grabbed and getting hit with a million up airs. A raw back air. And, and yeah, I think that's pretty much all I need to do. Just, you know, place a move. Here we go in game five. Carson with a small lead. But nothing unmanageable for Rush. Trying to juggle Carson with up airs, but not quite getting up there. Well, Captain Falcon has a hard time getting down. I would like to see uh, some more juggling.
there's there we go this is what i wanted to see i want to see some more double jumps to go catch captain falcon up air is so much faster than any of his options down air being really the only thing he needs to get down captain falcon uh having i suppose falcon kick is just you know far too slow so just get up there and hit him just jump just jump up there press the attack button Dash attacks, catching him. I was expecting a roll away, but Carson uh, intelligently rolled in. Shooting lasers, forcing Carson around. Him. The Raptor boost narrowly missing. Pretty much the only move of its type that triggers the hitbox on frame 6, uh, which is the slowest in the game. I believe most other ones trigger on frame 4, which is why moves like Pit and Dark Pit side B rarely miss. Captain Falcon's whiffs quite often. Ooh, a very strong up smash. That'll kill at just about 0%. Well, my food is here. So I'm going to enjoy it. And I hope all of you enjoy the rest of the gameplay.